Hey Spoonies, back as promised. You're going to be hearing a little music in the background because it's quiet here and it's creepy. Um, my uh, mom is up recovering from a wound surgery, so I have no one out in the room with me. So it's a tad bit creepy. Let's know someone that way and no noise besides the pussoise. You see my fur baby up there. That's Dia. So, um, <clears throat> I'm back to talk about medications and side effects and how it affects our daily lives. So, HF, doctors say you might put you on antibiotic. Now, for most women, it just causes a yeast infection, not me. Um... I already warn you, it's, this is going to be blunt. I, I don't sugarcoat anything when it comes to chronic illnesses. It, it's not about that. It's not having chronic illnesses isn't all lollipops and rainbows. It's nothing sugarcoated. It's not Willy Wonka. You are stuck with the good, the bad, and the ugly of being chronically ill. So, medications and side effects. Let's start with my HS. Um, and for those who have had HS, I pretty much guarantee you've been on a antibiotic at least at one point in your life, if not constantly. Now, most women get yeast infections. Um, I'm one of the lucky few, but then again, I'm not so lucky. Because I'd rather deal with the yeast infection than what I have to deal with when I take an antibiotic. Um, <laughs> it's embarrassing to admit, but I'm going to. Um, I basically have to camp next to a bathroom until the entire course of antibiotics are done. It's not pretty. It, I mean, I cannot stay any further than I am. So probably about 20 feet from a bathroom. You have to use the bathroom a lot. And if you're not near a bathroom, you will have a lot of accidents. If you get my drift. And I'm not talking about, you know, the cough and pee thing that most women experience after childbirth. No. <laughs> Try the other end. Yeah. It's not fun. Um, most antibiotics make me nauseous. Um, the worst one I ever had was Keflex. Keflex made me so sick I couldn't eat. I Every time I took Keflex, I was burping up rotten eggs. Sulfur. It was just, it was, I was miserable. And the doctor, um, my orthopedic surgeon put me on it afterwards to help prevent, prevent pre infection. I'm sorry, I'm tongue-tied tonight. Prevent infection, both from my HS reoccurring around the site and from, <clears throat> excuse me, and from the hip joint, the new hip joint itself getting infected. Because if the new hip joint gets infected, you they have to go back in, clean it, take the joint out, and depending on how bad the infection is, you're walking around, around without a hip joint. And your legs are dangling. It's not fun. I've been down the leg dangling road when my hip fell out of place the first, the first time. It's, mm, it's a nightmare. So... Uh, I think I was on that antibiotic for the course of two weeks, and I was just so sick. I was miserable. Um, the only thing I could manage down to get down was half a cup of coffee. Um, I don't have the cup I usually use here, but it's like 40 ounce to go cup, and it would be mixed with milk to help settle my stomach and some chocolate to help my cravings because I had lost weight that way. Actually, 100 pounds that way. Um, 
obviously I'm getting it back. It's, I'm not happy about that, but we'll go into that a little bit later in the video, I promise. So I was so nauseated that even looking at a bagel, which I love bagels, I just gagged. And it was a fresh hip. I didn't want to risk the chance throwing up and popping my hip out of joint. Because I am a violent puker. <laughs> and my whole body goes into it and it's not pleasant. So <clears throat> I didn't want to stop the medication because I knew how important it was. But I also didn't want to get sick and throw up. So I um, just ate very minimal and um, drank some of my coffee and I had dropped like 10 pounds. So when I got there, the doctors were all freaking out like, oh my God, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, you already dropped 10 pounds. It's like, um, hello, fresh hip. If I puke, it pops out. Yeah. What's the girl supposed to do? I mean, even my mom was nice and gave me her anti-puke meds and I still wanted to puke. So, they just gave me like a whole bunch of crap. <clears throat> you know, brought in a nutritionist and everything. I was like, it was not intentional. I was happy with the way that I was at. I mean, 190 for me, that's pretty good. So... You know, you don't need you don't need to do that. That was the medication that did that. That was me trying to not come back in with a messed up hip again. Because I just got out of that pain. I just got out of that situation. I don't want to go back to that. I mean, you might as well just shoot me now if I had to go through that again. I don't know how I pulled it off for the past sixteen years. Let alone <laughs> how I did it. Outside of stubbornness, I guess. So, to solve that problem, I just put Keflix on my allergies list. I will not go through that again. It is just a nasty, nasty antibiotic. You'll be nauseated. You'll be burping up eggs. It doesn't matter what you eat, what you drink, what antacids you take. Tums, nothing. Those side effects are just nasty. And I could not leave the house. I couldn't leave the house. I couldn't stay away from the bathroom. I could not leave the house. I can't even look at food. So that's reaction number one. Um, the other antibiotics, yeah, they get me slightly nauseated, but it's tolerable. It's tolerable. I can still eat. I can still not get sick. However... I do have to stick close to a bathroom. Very close. So when I'm on a course of antibiotics, don't expect to see me out and about. Um, if you do and I do am out and about, I make sure I'm very close to a bathroom and I have a change of clothes. <laughs> so that's effect number one. Um, <clears throat> my heart mother's daughter, she has a thyroid condition. And I'll get into how I got this size again right after this because it fits right in. Um, her medication is life-saving and it caused her to gain some weight. Now, she can't go off that medication. If she was off that medication, she wouldn't have any problem with weight. But it's life-saving. So some medicines out there will either make you lose weight, which, hey... You know, that sounds like fun, unless you lose too much. Some will make you gain weight like crazy, leading into my problem. Some will make you sick. Some will make you dizzy. And for every side effect there is, there's going to be another pill on your list to counteract it. Or try to counteract it. And before you know it, you're taking 50,000 meds. A little bit over estimating, but you get my draft. Um, there's some that make you cranky. There's some that wire you out, like um, my pain meds have been doing to me. 
Um, there is just so, so many different side effects that affect your daily life. You know, it's not only your illnesses that you have to contend with, but it's the side effects for the medications. Excuse me. <clears throat> for the medications. Excuse me one second. I'll talk, but I'm not going to be looking at some camera. Um, some of my friends got me on this groovy chat site. And that's why I'm back a little later. So. It's just amazing. I mean, you're already juggling so much with your illnesses. And then the supposed cures or therapies make it worse. It's. It ain't fun. Um, my case. Um, since I have Hughes syndrome, um, Holy Grail birth control. I will never stop raving about it. Now it worked for me. It may not work for you. Not everyone's the same, but low overall was just, mm, I honestly think that birth control also helped me drop that hundred pounds and it was just amazing. But in came the blood clots, and since the overall is estrogen, and estrogen is in linked clots, especially if you smoke or are overweight. So um, my gynecologist took me off the low overall, tried an IUD, Marina. Again, shoot me. I will never do that again, ever. Like, I almost walked out of his office as soon as I saw them bringing the Marina IUD in. Mm -mm. No, I felt like someone was ripping my spine out of my back with a molten lava jackhammer. Mm -mm. No, and you're gonna see me for a baby trying to mark up my computer. Claudia. I'm sorry. Cats are buttheads. Are you done now? No. Okay. I think she's done. So, I told doc, the doctor, it's like, nope, 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 nope. You, you did not. I was never off my period. I felt like someone was ripping my spine out. I just, no, no. No, I will walk. So he's like, okay, um, let's try something else with you. How about Deborah Pavera? Uh, at that point, it's like, okay. He's like, well, it's not going to work like a low overall. There's nothing that I can give you that's going to work like low overall. You know, we need to worry about your blood clots. Um, even though you're on warfarin, I'm still not comfortable giving you low overall. <laughs> So, Depo Pavera, you go in every three months, get a shot, off you go. First month, two, it was great. No periods. I was happy. You know? And then next checkup. Check up, I'm sorry, three months later. I noticed I gained about five pounds. I'm like, okay. And I also noticed that I was extremely hungry, <laughs> which my body was used to the intermittent fasting I was doing. Intermediate fasting, I'm sorry. I was doing where um, I'd skip breakfast and my coffee and chocolate milk would be my breakfast and lunch. And then I'd eat dinner and go back to fasting again until I woke up, got my coffee, repeat constant. So <clears throat> I'm like, okay, I, yeah, I haven't really been that great with sodas. I haven't really been that great with carbs or anything, you know, five pounds, you know, I can drop this in like 
you know, I've done, done 100 pounds, why, you know, what's 5 pounds? So, he's like, well, yeah, we expect you to gain weight, you know, it's okay. I'm like, okay, okay, I, I won't flip about it, I won't flip, I just gotta work harder. So, next checkup, checkup two. I'm now 215. I'm not happy. And he's like, it's okay, it's okay. I, a 20 pound weight gain is fine. You know, it's, it's expected. You know, you should level off. I'm like, okay. 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 All right, I'll level off and I'll start losing. Okay. Third checkup, 230. And by the way, I'm not ashamed to admit my weight or anything. I've hidden my illnesses for far too long. I've stayed silent for far too long. So I'm not staying silent anymore, which is why I'm starting these. Start the series is for me not to be silent, for others to know there's help out there, there's people to talk to, um, and hopefully help guide. So, third checkup. I'm growling a little bit, and I tell him my concerns because at 290 pounds, which was my heaviest, um, <laughs> I was pre-diabetic. And let me tell you, that was not a fun ride. The first time I hit 400 and my blood glucose level, my blood sugar, I felt like I was drunk. I was high, I was half passed out and half awake. Mm -mm. So I was like kind of growling at him then. I was like, am I going to stop gaming? No, nah, another shot. So finally, fourth visit. I lay into him because I was now... 250. That was it. I told him, it's like, look, doc, you either take me off of this shot or I'm going to stop coming. Because I am so many amounts, so much. Ah, uh, how can I put this properly? I am so close to my diabetic weight, I'm getting scared. I'm trying to manage if not get rid of my illnesses not add another and i know for certain there will be another if i gain any more weight you know he's like are you sure you don't want to try for one more month i'm like um yeah see he's like okay okay we'll see what we can do so he took me off depot you thank you thank you and he put in um that little tube that goes in your arm. I forget what it's called. It still feels weird. <laughs> it still feels weird. Um, and I have gone and cut my sodas and I'm losing weight again. I have about 50 or so pounds to drop, which I'm very miffed about. But I did it first I did it the first time around. I can do it again. Just like if I survived my blood clots the first and second time, I know I can do it again. So, let's see. Migraine medicines. Well, that just makes you sleepy. Hopefully. Because <laughs> that's the best thing to do when you have a migraine is sleep. Because you are miserable. Oof, are you miserable? Um... Let's see, there's other medications that have side effects. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember, what is it? it wasn't Dilaudid, which by the way, Dilaudid is holy grail pain pills, I'm just saying. Mm. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think what else. If, how about this? Um, discussed below. If you know the side effects, things that hinder you, things that help you, 
Um, if your doctors have put something, put you on something to counteract the side effects, that's leading to more pills. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> the current pills I'm on is warfarin, is sliding scale. So I do have to watch my vitamin K intake because it is an antidote for warfarin. Um, spiractone, which is supposed to help with my PCOS, works somewhat like a T blocker, even though it's a diuretic. Um, I've seen it talked about a lot in the PCOS community. Um, Zoloft for my depression, which has helped greatly. Um, let's see. Ah, there we go. Depression medicine. Um, side effects of my aunt meter sliderist. Um, it's just crazy the medications we take and the side effects they have and how much they can either help or hinder. But in my case, it's mostly been hinder. <laughs> I hate having to go on any, on the course of antibiotics. And I'm always leery when I start new medication. Um, what else am I on? Okay. Um, of course, that doesn't include the topicals for my HS. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of lost where I went with this. You're going to forgive me. I'm tired. But um, I'd like to see a discussion down below. Medication side effects, what you've noticed with them. And uh, I'm going to do two more videos. One talking about vaping and since I've already done a, excuse me for a second, done a get ready with me video, I might as well do a get unready with me video. Get ready with me video. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm distracted. Get ready, uh, get unready with me video. Um, show me getting all of this perfection off my face. And getting some sleep, routine I have to go through. And yeah, I did change my hair. <laughs> I'm loving this color actually. So I'm shutting up. And I'll be back soon. Bye, Spinnies. <laughs>